Our San Bernardino County Sheriff's deputies were called to the house around 1230 this morning. Investigators say the suspects uh, described as two men in masks were long gone when they got there. Eyewitness News reporter Rob McMillan is live with the latest on the investigation. Rob. Well, about an hour and a half ago, detectives returned to the scene here for some follow up investigation. There is a lot of concern in this quiet neighborhood because at this point, detectives aren't saying whether they have information to suggest this was a targeted attack or completely random. What we do know is that it happened around 12:30 this morning at the end of Rolling Pasture Place. It's a cul-de-sac here in Ranch Cucamonga, and the house that was hit sits behind a set of large gates at the end of a very long driveway. The San Bernardino County Sheriff's Department says two armed men entered the home and then held the family at gunpoint, then taking property. By the time deputies arrived, the two robbers had already fled the scene, and at this point, they're still on the loose. Now, one neighbor told us their home was burglarized two months ago, but they don't think there's a connection between that and this incident. Another neighbor told us he's worried that it might have been a follow home robbery. Yeah, I'm very concerned. I'm always uh, advising my girls, my family to look out, you know, when they're coming home. So I'm, I'm always doing that. Even when I enter the community, I'm always, you know, very, uh, you know, alert, just making sure. When I step out of the house, same thing. It's just, uh, you never know. Now, when detectives returned to the scene, they did spend a lot of time. In fact, you can see them down there at the end of this bridal trail looking for evidence. At one point, one of the detectives was kneeling down on the ground, and it looked like she may have been looking for a footprint, which would suggest that perhaps they escaped on foot. But no information from police on whether they did escape on foot or a uh, description of the suspects or perhaps a getaway vehicle. One other neighbor told me that she has texted the family and they're doing okay, although one of them said, that her brother was hit over the head. Again, no official word on the extent of those injuries. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel and download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.